Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're just in the car at the moment. Um, we're gonna go out for a walk today. I mentioned in my last video that I'm trying to get out a bit more and get into nature, get some exercise. Um, so we're gonna go for a walk. We're not gonna go too far today. Um, we're gonna go to the Bronte Waterfall, which is in Haworth. Um, it's not very far at all from where we live and it's a pretty steady walk um, with some really nice views, I think. Um, and I just thought I would try and vlog a bit of the day see where he takes us hopefully we'll see some nice scenery get some exercise in get some fresh air so yes let's go I've always had a soft spot for Haworth I came here for the first time when I was about 10 I think and I've been visiting ever since it's about a 15 minute drive from Saltaire where we live but it feels as though you're in the middle of the dales when you get into this beautiful moors This area is referred to as Bronte Country and the landscape actually inspired the famous sisters. They often walked to the waterfall along this very path and drew inspiration from the really dramatic and desolate setting. I love this extract from a letter actually that I'd like to share with you. It's a letter from Ellen Nussey to Elizabeth Gaskell um, describing the Bronte sisters at the waterfall. The rugged bank and rippling brook were treasures of delight. Emily, Anne and Branwell used to ford the streams and sometimes placed stepping stones for the other two. There was always a lingering delight in these spots. Every moss, every flower, every tint and form were noted and enjoyed. Emily especially had a gleesome delight in these nooks of beauty. Her reserve for the time vanished. One long ramble made in these early days were far away over the moors to a spot familiar to Emily and Anne, which they called the Meeting of the Waters. It was a small oasis of emerald green turf, broken here and there by small clear springs. A few large stones served as resting places. Seated here, we were hidden from the world. Nothing appearing in view but miles and miles of heather, a glorious blue sky and brightening sun. So we've just got to the waterfall now. It's been an absolutely gorgeous walk. Um, I think we're gonna just sit down, have our sandwiches. We've brought a flask of tea um, and just take in the beautiful surrounding um, nature. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous here. All you can hear is all you can hear is like the running water of the waterfall and it's just such a desolate landscape. It's so peaceful and beautiful, it's amazing. After exploring the area for a while. We went and sat on these perfect little stones and um, they just really do make the perfect little spot to just sit down, have a bit of lunch. And we brought some sandwiches, we brought a flask of tea, which was absolutely amazing after that long, blustery, cold walk. Um, this was just what we needed. And we just sat for a little while and really just took it all in, listened to the water flowing and just taking some big, deep breaths. And then it was time for us to start the journey home, back along the moors, taking in this beauty. It was an amazing, amazing day.
something that is absolutely adorable as every single person that you walk past on these trails says hello well do you all right um, and everyone gives you a little nod and it's just uh, really sweet actually i don't know if you get this down south but up north we're all very very friendly and i'll say hello um, and we met the most cute dog didn't we I don't know what breed he was, but he was absolutely, oh it were a girl, she was absolutely gorgeous and had bright blue eyes, she was so sweet, um, but yeah we're just walking back now to the car, it's been absolutely gorgeous, so good for the soul, honestly, really easy walk, definitely suitable for beginners, um, so yeah I will see you back at the car. So we're back at the car now, we've had a lovely, lovely walk. We're just gonna have a quick cup of tea and then we're gonna drive home. So I'm probably gonna sign off here. I hope you've enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll see you again soon for my next one. Bye.